What's up guys, it's Rob Jots. I'm doing a video with Tyler, my friend Tyler here. Um, we're going to talk about uh, Stephen Curry and the Warriors this year. So Tyler, what are your thoughts on uh, Curry um, making the most threes um, of all time yesterday? Well, first Robert, I gotta get this out of the way. Number eight. <laughs> That's not happening, buddy. I hate to break it to you. <laughs> You know, in case you guys missed it, my boy here, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he really picked them in number eight. And uh, where are we sitting right now? Number two? Number yeah. Two? Right next, neck and neck with the Suns? I believe yeah. so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, I thought, uh, you know, the pieces came together, you know. We, uh, you know, trimmed the bushes, got rid of the dead dead parts, you know. And, uh, yeah. you know, I think the season's coming together with the goat, you know. <laughs> the goat, yes, yeah. I'm telling you. I've been saying this forever. He is the GOAT. The greatest shooter, right? No, no. The GOAT. <laughs> the GOAT. Yeah. There yeah. you go. <laughs> yeah. What what makes him the GOAT? This is this is my personal opinion. Mm -hmm. He has literally changed an entire sport. How many other players have done that? There's, there's a few players. Who? Um, Who? Now, in, in such a magnitude as Steph Curry. <laughs> a magnitude. Yeah. You know, Jordan changed the game. The popularity of basketball just increased heavily when he came into the league. Um, I know, but he got the booster shot from Matt, from uh, you know Larry and Magic. <laughs> yeah, in the eighties, yeah, yeah. they handed him the torch, bro. They, that fire they, was they, burning, they, they, and then next thing you know, <laughs> that was a um, yeah, a volcano. Mm -hmm. But also too, I saw something. Somebody asked Damian Lillard like something about Stephen Curry, and then he's like, yeah, you know, he really changed the game, you know, with with uh, the shot selection and you know the number of threes taken in the game and like the range and he's like he's like oh you know and i had a part in that too and i was like uh, i was like nah well i think also like curry he does it on all elements of shooting i think it's like what makes him like totally different from anyone else because yeah. like we got players who dribble and pull up can shoot off the dribble can shoot off the catch and shoot and can like shoot off the screen yeah curry just does it all yeah. you know he's just it's just a facilitator mm -hmm. of the entire you know, a Warriors offense. Yeah, that's why. I, that's why. Like, I don't. I don't understand when someone says he's not the greatest shooter of all time. Just like the range he shoots at. Um, and I personally think he can't take a bad shot. Like, yeah. I don't think. <laughs> I, I think he's the one player in the league where like he can't take a bad shot just because of how far he can shoot from, and like the the degree of difficulty. Like, doesn't matter. Hand in his face. It doesn't matter. He can. He can get it off. But yeah. How how far do you think? Um, the Warriors can go this year. I think that answer has to be answered after we get, you know, two major pieces back of Clay Thompson oh, yep. and James Wiseman, mm -hmm. you know. We'll get the big back in there yep. and we'll get Clay in there, but also like you gotta like I feel like chemistry is a big part mm -hmm. of, you know, like how like how much a team wins. Well, as we can see, the Lakers team chemistry. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you can sign, you can you can bring in all the good players yeah. in the world. Yeah. But the, if the chemistry is off, your team's going to be trash yeah. at number seven. Yeah, that's like so. the last couple of years, they've just been signing players from one-year deals like Rondo and all these different players. Like, they bring in, you know, like eight free agents one summer and then, you know, get rid of half of them and then bring in another, like, crew. And it's like, there's just so many moving parts. And, um, like, really the only people that are staying is really, like, LeBron and AD. Their chemistry has been up and down this year. You know, partly with Westbrook, you know, he, he's still trying to figure out stuff. But yeah. like, the Warriors, they are, they're always passing the ball, which I like, and you know, sometimes I wish the Celtics yep. would do oh, that. Yeah. Oh yeah, we've talked about this now. <laughs> we are a fan yeah. of the Tatum. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. When they play, it's just, they just move the ball a lot, and it, it's just fun to watch, and like, Jordan Poole, man, he's been he's been fun to watch, and like Gary Payton, the second he he's a great defender. He's always bringing the energy, and like you said, you're calling him Lob City. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm telling you, <laughs> that's another thing. Golden State Warriors, mm -hmm. Lob City's moved north in California. But the reason I had them so low is because I'm like, you know, Curry's gonna have to carry the load. He's not gonna get that much help, but like. You know, Jordan Poole and all those other guys, even Bay is playing well. They're just stepping in and, um, you know, Curry doesn't have to, like, carry them every single night for them to win. You know, still... you know, rather than saying all of those words, you could just say, I'm a hater. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not a hater, I'm not a hater, I'm not a hater. I'm not a hater. I'm not a hater. I, I, I like Stephen Curry, he's one of my favorite players to watch. Yes, but you notice how you just said, 
you know, but everyone else, you know, they couldn't even, you know, use the 36 point Steph Curry drop ball every single night. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like a hater talk no, to me. I'm not, I'm not hating. I'm not hating. Andre Iguodala. Everyone <laughs> thought he was burnt out. He can definitely go far this year, definitely for sure. And they play defense too. That's that's another thing. Yep, yep. Is um, I wasn't expecting their defense to be as good as it is, and they're just they just buy it. And another like they're playing defense like that without a shot blocker too. How do you feel about the rest of the Western Conference? Is there like a team you say would be like the number one team that you think uh, will give them the most trouble? My two teams I have in the West are the uh, the Suns, obviously, because I mean, who's like who's gonna pick against the Suns right now? Yeah. But then. I personally really like the Jazz, but I think they're not like, like I'm I'm love hate with that team because they I think they play really hard. I think they play defense. Yep. I think they're like they also are another team that shares the ball, but at the same time, like the personalities on that team like aren't like there's no like similar with the Celtics. There's not like a, like a leader yep. that like has that everyone like is like you know. Has their back, Following, like yeah, like yeah. like Steph Curry has everybody on that team, like on his team, like mm -hmm. they have his back. He has their back. Yeah, the Jazz, like I, I like their team. Like even last year, I thought I thought they were gonna be really good. Um, I think I had them like like maybe like a top five in my power ranking, but I didn't think they were gonna be number one in the West. But, but yeah, they're a very talented team. They got a lot of great players. It's just that also too is that they just fall short in the playoffs. Like, yeah. That's where the, that's when that's where yeah. I see the leadership coming. Yeah, in. it's like like there's no you should have beat yeah. the Clippers. Yeah. No Kawhi, um, it's just Paul George really. You know Reggie Jackson, but like you gotta beat them. And yeah, the Suns. Yeah, they're they're still they're still you know playing well. And yeah, they they play defense. They move the ball. Like those are just like a good recipe to like win. But yeah, I definitely Suns and Jazz. That's, that's two good picks. Mm -hmm. I personally had the Lakers number one before the season started. <laughs> To win it all, and uh, yeah, I don't know, no, because yep. injuries and mm -hmm. Anthony Davis's lack of aggression each night. And to be fair, <laughs> I do agree. Like two all great NBA players on one team is hard to pick against, but mm -hmm. I just like a the film. B like there's no who knows about the chemistry because they scrapped everyone yeah. except for their two stars. Yep. Like, like the you've seen the film of you know they tr turn over the ball AD. Yep. Nah, I'll get the next possession. Yeah, exactly. Just sits on the other side yeah. of the court. Yeah, like, LeBron be doing that. It, yeah. It's just like, you got to run back. Like, I, you know. yeah, And LeBron's getting older. Like, he yeah. used to not miss games at all, and now yeah. he's missing, like, like significant games. Every other stretches. game, it yeah. seems like. Yeah. 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 You, know, you know what I meant to ask you about? <laughs> what? what? I, was, I, was, I saw some uh, highlights on my Instagram feed mm -hmm. of a certain somebody, you know? Uh, who? And, well, he's a little chubbier now, but, you know, he was flying back in the day. <laughs> yeah. What do, you, what do you think of that? What do you think of that guy doing? Are you referring to Zion Williamson? Yeah, yeah. Yep. He's probably my favorite player, like at a Duke. At least the hype, the hype, the you know, just being um, so fun to watch at Duke, and you know, just the highlights, the athleticism, even the blocking shots. Yeah. Um, but now he just he's bigger. You can see it in his face. You can mm. see it in his arm, and yeah, he's not, whatever he's doing, he's just not, he's just not taking care of himself. And my dad pointed this out to me, he was like, this man Zion had foot surgery over the summer, right? And he's, he's clearly gained that much weight. And then you got a guy, so he's only been re rehabbing for, what, like six months. Mm -hmm. And then you got Clay Thompson, who hasn't been, hasn't played in like two years. Still looks like he's that the man same looks way. Like he's fresh <laughs> exactly. out the gym, bro. Exactly. He looks like he looks like Baywatch running down the court, dude. You see, he got the flow now, too. He looks like Baywatch running down that court. You see those videos? <laughs> yeah. You got a guy who's been rehabbing for two years, basically, and and he's still looking like he's um you know the same way as he was been playing, the same shape. Um. So yeah, he's clearly not taking care of his body. What do you think about Lonzo? Over in, and over in the Bulls. Yeah, Chicago. Yeah, I told you, he's, he's, he's finally... He's in a better system. That's another team that moves the ball well, like, shares it. Like, yeah. it's not just, like, one person, like, you know, our favorite offense post-ISO. Like, mm -hmm. it, like everyone's moving the ball, like, like sharing it. So, that's another... I think that's where he's, he's going to thrive. Like, he's... Because he's, he's never been a... That type of, you know... Yeah, like a scorer. Yeah, like, like he... If, if, if the, they're playing fast... Like Alonzo's thriving. Mm -hmm. They're not playing fast. Alonzo's not thriving. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. loves to push the pace. When he was with the Lakers, they they played really slow. You know, he, he was playing better uh, with Zion. You know, in fast breaks, it was fun to watch. But now, 
um, he's able to start over uh, with Chicago, and they they're playing pretty well. Yeah, I don't think I think the there. East is funny because there's no like. There's no, like, top dog, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, the records are pretty close. Yeah. Anything else? I want to reiterate that's, you know, Steph Curry is the greatest player of all time. Definitely. Spaces spaces the floor like no other person, shoots the ball like no other person. My, my analogy I told to Robert already is that when Steph Curry plays for the Warriors, it's basically four on four with a, you know, 20 point lead. But yeah, yeah, Stephen Curry is the greatest shooter of all time. The greatest player of all time, yeah. Yeah, the greatest shooter, yeah. I think he's among point guards. You're telling me, you're, no, no, let's 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 have this serious debate. You're telling me that Michael Jordan, Steph Curry, and LeBron James are in one draft class. You're telling me you're taking Michael Jordan over Steph Curry? Yeah, I'll take, I'll take the two-way player. You're telling me you're taking Michael Jordan over Steph Curry? He's a two-way player, I like, I like defense. You can get it. <laughs> Steph Curry got KD. <laughs> oh my God! That's what you're attracted no, no, Steph Curry. No, 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 no. You see what he's doing? You see what he's doing? He's trying to add a KD in there, bro. We're just talking about Stephen Curry. Bro, because people know because people <laughs> want to play with Steph Curry. Like people yeah. want to play because people want to play with that. Yeah. Because if Steph Curry is out here sitting at half, running around half the defense and running around the other side of the court. Mm-hmm. Everybody's on that side of the court, yeah. so other players want to play with Steph Curry. Yeah. That's what I agree. You're yeah. not wrong. Yeah, I completely agree. That's something that Jordan does not bring to the table. Stop it, man! Who wouldn't want to play with Michael Jordan? That is true. Okay, I, I, <laughs> <laughs> but at the same time, uh-huh. you know, LeBron James is just out of my goat conversation. Uh-huh. Like totally. The yeah. reason why is because Michael Jordan in LeBron James's NBA smokes still. But Jordan, or LeBron in Jordan's NBA, <laughs> that man's dead. Curry mm-hmm. cooks Jordan's NBA. Curry. Absolutely yeah. cooks Jordan's NBA. Well, yeah, well, yeah. The, the three-point line was just, br- like, was brought in, like, 1979, I think. So, like, yeah, you and Jordan was drafted 84. So, like... Bro, no one was shooting like that. So he Exactly. Was, they would have to ban the three point line. Like, exactly. If if you just dropped Stephen Curry. <laughs> That's how unfair I, Steph Curry plays. <laughs> Steph Curry has the Jordan like killer instinct. It's rare where you get like someone who has like that killer instinct. Yeah. Plus like the mind control and emotion control. Mm-hmm. Plus, like this, the skill. Yeah. Like he's he's on Jordan tier for me. I think he's the second greatest point guard of all time. I'm I'm gonna give Magic the nod, but I think he's number two. I'll let you take that back. No, 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 no. I'm saying it. I'll let you the take that back. No, 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 I, no. I only needed one take for that. This has been a golden <laughs> conversation. Yep. Steph Curry, leave us a comment. You know, we we appreciate you. Like, let me know what you guys think about this video. Let me know what you think about Tyler's. Uh, claim with Stephen Curry being the GOAT. Rank the best uh, shooters of all time, the top five um, in the comments as well. Thank you guys, appreciate it. Peace.